gonna be kind of like a first impression and a comparison video of the new Real Techniques Bold Metals Collection Miracle Diamond Sponge and then the original Beauty Blender from the Beauty Blender company. I have been wanting to do kind of like a comparison video of beauty sponges for such a long time because as you know with me, I am personally in love with using my beauty blender for applying my foundation or concealer. And me personally, I actually haven't tried any other beauty sponges or anything like that. Not even the Miracle Sponge from Real Techniques, but um, I just wanted to try the newest one because it's new, it's fresh. And honestly, I just really love the packaging. I think it's impeccable. I love that it's shaped like a diamond. So because this is a first impression, let's just quickly talk about this one, the Bold Metals Miracle Diamond Sponge. It says here 900 carats, 13 faces, any look. And um, what I love about the packaging, first of all, obviously you can see the, the sponge, you can see the shape of it as well, so there's no gimmicky stuff going on, this is what you get. But on the back, it actually says a lot about how to use it because many times I feel like that when, when we buy kind of like gimmicky products, not saying that this is gimmicky, but it looks different, right? But when we buy like gimmicky makeup products, it can sometimes be really difficult to know exactly how to use the product. Whereas I feel like that with this little um, description here in the back, you really get to understand and see how to use the sponge, which I feel like I, I, I appreciate that. And it says on the back, this multi-faced Miracle Diamond Sponge is designed to work with multiple products and different areas of your face. No two sponges are alike. Each has its own unique swirl design, which means that the design of the sponge, you can see there are some swirly gray stuff in there. They're all different, none of them are the same, so they're all different designs, which is so cool once again. Um, and then it says something about the different sizes, as I said. The top one is supposed to be used for buff and blend for a flawless finish. The pointed tip is supposed to be used to cover small imperfections. The smaller flat sides are supposed to work around eyes, mouth and brow bone. And the larger flat sides uh, function as a wedge to apply makeup to larger areas. And it says use wet for dewy application and dry for full coverage powders. And it says replace every one to three months. So that is the normal standard um, time period that these last like one to three months depending on how much you use it and if you're good at taking care of them and washing them and cleaning them, all of that good stuff. So just overall about the packaging, I love that there is such a big description about the actual sponge. And then just the sponge in general, I am in love with the design, I think it looks very luxurious and it definitely goes together with the Bold Metals collection which I personally love so so much. So here's the sponge when it's out of the packaging and as you can see it is diamond shaped and what I love is that it's got such a pointy tip. It's gonna be amazing for the under eye area, hopefully. And then in comparison, we've got the original Beauty Blender, which is my favorite tool. You know how much I love it. And um, I know this one is dirty right now. I'm gonna clean it in a moment because we're gonna use it. But I just wanted to share with you the actual size compared to the other one. So the diamond one is obviously diamond shaped and um, a tiny bit bigger than the X-shaped um, beauty blender, but they're not too different. It is definitely fatter and bigger. And obviously this one has got some like angles to it, whereas the uh, beauty blender is just round and X-shaped. The beauty blender has also got a pointy tip, but it's not as pointy as with the um, Miracle Sponge one. This one feels lighter in the sponginess, if you get what I mean. I don't have to use as much power to press it down, whereas with this one, it is a bit more firm, so I um, don't know if that's gonna make any difference, but oh well, I just wanted to share it with you. But now they're dry, so as you can see, this is the size when they're dry, and I'm just gonna wet them in two sec, and then we'll see how big they get. So here are the sponges once they're wet, and as you can see, the Beauty Blender has definitely doubled in size. They're almost the same um, size now. This is still bigger though. So they definitely do get bigger and they do soak up product. And just remember with the sponges just to use a kitchen roll or whatever you've got just to soak out any excess water from the uh, sponge. Um, but now let's get some primer on my face because I always use primers. So I just want my skin to be nicely moisturized and primed. And I'm gonna be using the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base, obviously. So 
moisturizer and primer is on now and what I'm going to be using as foundation is the Maybelline Madden Polis foundation. It is one of my go-to foundations. It, it, it just always works for me so, so well. So let's just go with the safe option and I'm going to be blending this side in with this one. So now I've got foundation on one half of my face and I use the Beauty Blender and as you can see it looks very seamless, very beautiful, I can't fold it. I feel like that it really just makes the foundation just blend into the skin so nicely. There's no streaking going on, it just looks very very natural and I feel like that with the Beauty Blender I can really build up the foundation to a full coverage if that's what I want but I can also kind of like blend it in just by kind of like rubbing a tiny bit more so you really do have so many options with the Beauty Blender and I just feel like that it does its job so, so well. And now here comes a really exciting part. I'm gonna be using the Diamond Sponge on the other half. I'm actually not quite sure how to apply it. It feels I'm like this. Hmm, maybe. Feels kind of weird, but it works. So, foundation is totally on now and um, I've got both good things and bad things to say about this one. Let me start with the good things. It really worked so easily and so quickly. It took me absolutely no time to blend in the um, foundation, especially because of the flat top right here. It really covers a large area on your face, or at least on me because I've got a tiny face. So to me, it took no time for me to blend it into the skin. I do, however, feel like that because this part here, the flat side is so big and so chunky, it is kind of difficult for me to use the smaller side because, I don't know, it just feels very big in the hands and just not really that handy for me when I'm using the smaller, finer tip up here. And even though that it is very pointy, I feel like that the pointy tip is actually a bit too... I don't know, it's not dense enough if you get what I mean, so I don't really feel like that I get the full use out of the tip. But let's get you guys up close so you can see kind of like a comparison of the two sides so we can talk about what we like and what we don't like. This is just gonna be 100% honest, there is not the bigger difference at all. I feel like that both sides look very very nice and very nicely distributed. It doesn't sit in any pores or any lines and it definitely doesn't look cakey either. It looks really really nice just as I want my foundation to be. But however, I still feel like that I can use the tip on the Beauty Blender much more because it's firmer and therefore not as fiddly. So now that we're up close and personal, let's try to work with the Beauty Blenders or Beauty Sponges with some concealer under the eyes. So once again, just gonna be using this one under this eye and this one under this eye. And I'm gonna be using the Born This Way uh, Radiant Concealer from Too Faced under my eyes. I do use fairly much concealer because I'm always so freaking red under my eyes. Once again, very nice finish. It really works wonders. Some people, they do complain that it's not pointy enough, but to me, there's no problem getting all the way in there. I feel like that it's got the perfect size, the perfect firmness as well. And now I'm going to be using the pointy tip. For that job, I definitely still prefer the Beauty Blender because it is firmer in the tip. This one is just not firm enough and I, I actually had a really hard time working with it. Once again, because the body of it is so freaking fat and big. So I don't know, it just feels fiddly to me. Honestly, that, that's just my honest opinion. Let's just use some concealer for the entire face and see how it works with that because I've got some redness and imperfections that I want to cover. And I like my full coverage, you know me. Over here on this side, we're gonna use the Beauty Blender. And then over here, we're gonna use the Diamond Sponge. And I'm gonna be using the sides now. So when we're talking about concealer on the entire face, I actually do feel like that this is still easier for me to use. Because I feel like with this one, the only side that I really truly love using is the a flat top, actually. It just doesn't feel right, I don't know. It just, I just don't feel that it's firm enough 
to really blend it as, as well as I wanted to and especially around my nostril that was actually the really really difficult part the pointy tip is not you know like firm enough and this is too big and it was just really fiddly for me around the nostril area so here are the under eyes and then the rest of the face. So when you see it from a distance, there's not the big a difference. I'm just really, really picky, obviously. I have to be with these first impressions and um, comparison videos. So let's try to cream, contour, and bronze the skin a tiny bit with the different sponges as well. I'm gonna be using my Bobbi Brown foundation stick in the color 6.5. It is a bit warmer, but that's because I want a bit more of a warmer look to my face. So we're just gonna do some lines. And I'm not too big on the entire cream contour thing. both sides of the cream bronzy contour thing and it looks pretty pretty good to me both sides actually I would say though that because this one has got so many angles it was actually easier for me to work it with the nose contour so actually for that I actually really prefer this one and now lastly we need to be baking under the eyes because it is a must I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder woo woo firstly using this one and then the diamond sponge and I'm going to be using this side right here which I didn't use for bronzer or cream contour and I still feel like the tip not firm enough so I actually had to go like this to really get up there under my eyes which annoys me and while waiting for that I'm just quickly going to do my brows maybe a tiny bit of mascara who knows I'll return to you in one sec for you and in like five to ten minutes for me. So it's been around ten minutes since last time you saw me and as you can see I've applied some mascara, brows are on, looking a bit more pulled together. But now let's dust away the excess powder on the eyes and see how it looks. Hmm, looks kind of weird when I'm not wearing mascara on the bottom lashes but overall it looks really good actually. I don't see the bigger difference. So both sponges work amazingly for that job. Let's just apply some mascara. And just a hint of highlight. So this is the finished result guys of the makeup and the comparison video of these two sponges. The original Beauty Blender and the new Diamond Sponge from Real Techniques. When we're talking overall finished result, there's not the big a difference. They both look so good. Both sides look even down, they look nice, beautiful, blended. However, as I've said throughout the entire video, I do feel like this one is just way easier to use. Whereas the Diamond Sponge is a bit more fiddly because of the different angles and sides and the tip not being dense enough to really use. However, this one really comes in in a close second place because I really like the finish that it gives on my skin. And the flat top is amazing for just blending in foundation. So quick, so simple, so easy. So that was all for this video. I really hope that you found it helpful and informative as well. If you're looking to buy a new beauty sponge or the beauty blender if you haven't tried them before if you're just interested my first impression of this one in itself is that i really like it and i can recommend it but if you're standing between choosing this one or this one i would still go for this one but thank you so much for watching remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already i love you all to the moon and back and everywhere else